In this video demonstration, Spin introduces its action-wise self-healing system running. It works like this, whenever a fault occurs, the system, automatically, isolates the problem and re-establishes as many loads as possible. This application was implemented, in two distribution utility, and controls more than 150 devices, in one of them, where most equipment are pull reclosers or switches. This screen is one of the many in the application, and it has 9 feeders with circuit breakers, symbol D, 15 auto reclosers, symbol R, and 6 switches, symbol C. Closed equipment is represented in red, and the open ones in green. Over the equipment, the current is shown, in 3 phases, and the distribution energized lines, are colored with the color of its feeder. When a circuit is de-energized, its color becomes green, as a opened equipment. The automatic button is selected, indicating that in the case of fault, the system selects maneuvers to isolate the problem, and automatically perform it. If in manual, the system will show, the window of maneuvers, but the operator, will need to execute them. The simulator option is active and, in this case, there is no communication, with the field, the system assumes a default situation, and the ADMS FLISR module sends, periodically, small changes in the measures, just to show that the system, is running. In this way, we can simulate faults and switches, and loads, and these information, will be sent to ADMS FLISR, that will run the topological processor, the state estimator, and the contingencies FLISR module, and will suggest maneuvers, to isolate the problem, and restore the system. In the simulation module, it is possible to study, all the possible contingencies. To simulate a fault, in this circuit breaker, execute the double click on it, and it opens a window with several options, one of them, is fault simulation. Once you click it, you open the circuit breaker, its current goes to zero, and the two sections of line feeder, by the breaker, are de-energized. A small yellow signaling, in the command window, indicates the lockout state of the equipment. The ADMS FLISR module, detects the fault, and suggests two commands in the maneuvers window, that when executed, isolates the T318 line, and re-energizes the T319 line, feed by the blue feeder. The switches commanded by the module, are highlighted by a yellow circle, and the lines re-energized, are highlighted by a red line hatched. Clicking on the events button, 4 degrees from the top, from left to right, you can see the event screen, where you can observe that, all events, involved on fault, are registered chronologically. Returning to the screen, the reset button is pressed, and the simulator returns to its starting position, with all the switches, in their normal state, and the currents typical for the time. In the circuit immediately below, the just simulated one, I will simulate a similar fault, but before I will lock, the recloser, indicated by the arrow. Note that just beside, the recloser BL signaling, is placed in red indicating that it is locked. When the fault is simulated, nothing happens, because to isolate the problem, it would be necessary to maneuver, the blocked recloser. Now, I will release the recloser, and repeat the fault. Note that, in the unlock window, if someone clicks the button inactive, it opens a new window, showing the reason this recloser is inactive. After the unlock, we repeat the same fault, and the software isolates, the line 314, and re-energizes the line 315, from the brown color feeder.
Finally, we simulate a fault of circuit breaker, indicated by the green arrow and, in response, The system suggests four commands, in the maneuvers window, which when executed, isolate the problem, and re-energizes three lines, T268, T267 and T336, from two separate feeders. This system is already operational, in this utility and in another utility, of the same group. Beyond features presented here, the system has several other, that make it an excellent choice for the improvement of the quality indicators, of your company. For more information, contact SPIN.